Hey, y'all, and thank y'all. Now, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Now, can't y'all smell that? Can't y'all taste that? Football, excuse me, fall sports are upon us. Ooh, we ain't nothing like some finger food and fall sports. They go hand in hand. Now, why we got this knife in hand? Now, I have to ask you, how do you hold your knife? How do you pick it up? Index finger, okay. Thumb, okay. All right. Pretty safe. Now, how do you... Oh, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Don't put your finger on the spine of that knife. Index on one side, thumb on the other, and roll those fingers back to you. Bring those fingers back to you. Yeah, you got it. Now, let's get it going, but one... Wait, wait, wait. One more thing. There you go. Make sure those fingers are tucked, and that thumb can be a guide. Move slowly and let that thumb guide you. This is called a Julian cut. You have a little bit of a onion on your uh, thumb right there. I don't know if you, oh, okay, cool. All right, we want to dice this half of the onion, right? Now watch my index finger here. I want to use that blade and bring that blade out and hold that onion in place. This is why I do that, because sometimes that onion section will come out. You don't want that. You want to keep everything uniform. Now, let's check out this dice you've just done. All right, that is a phenomenal job right there. That's how you want to dice your onions. That's a good dice on your onion, standard commercial dice. Now, what is that in this pan over here, this half pan? That is some chicken, that is poached chicken. Now we took this chicken and poached it on high heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's Montreal chicken seasoning. I had some of that into the poached chicken as well too. Cilantro, all the base seasonings you see me putting in here were in also the chicken broth that I used to poach this chicken including this hot sauce. We're going to talk about all that in the future. Not now, though. All right, now we have it in. We want to mix everything in good. And if you feel like you need to add a little bit more seasoning in there, add more seasoning. Add what you feel like, whatever you need to make it yours. You know your palate. You know your family members' palates. If you're a chef, like I am, you also know your client's palate. So season it according to how you normally would season your food, not necessarily to how someone else seasons their food, because we all taste a little bit different now, don't we, y'all? Look at that color. Look what you just did. You done did that right there. Mix that all up in there good. Mm-hmm. That's a little bit of lemon pepper I done added up in there. We're going to mix it in good. Mix it in good. Take a look at that, y'all. Now, we got to add the cheese. That is cheddar cheese. That is shredded already. That's Colby Jack that's shredded. And a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese that's shredded too as well. Mixing all that cheese in there too as well. Just mix it up, mix it up. Look at what you got. Look at what you have done. Now also, be sure to taste your food. Taste it right now. And if you need to add more seasonings, more flavor agents, add them. Don't over-season it, but you need to make sure they're right. Now we need to roll up these chicken flautas that we are doing for game day. Everybody's going to fall in love with you. Got that nice onion on top. Now roll it on back to yourself. Roll it back, all right? This is how we loading them up. Load them up and roll them out. Load them up and roll them out. That's how we do it. Now, be careful. Be careful with those toothpicks. You need something to hold this flouter in place. And the toothpick is the best object. Be careful. You only really need one toothpick to do this. But if you feel like you want to use two, then use two. Because you can keep those toothpicks to the side. And also reuse those toothpicks for future flouters that you may make. 
or for later on, if you have more that you have to fry up that night, use those toothpicks if you're running short. All right, y'all, we dropping them in the fryer. We getting them fried up good, y'all. They're going to be beautiful. If you've never tried these, they are phenomenal. Some people get these confused with taquitos, but these are not taquitos. These are flautas. Flautas, taquitos, two different products. Taquitos, corn shell. Flautas, flour shell look at that Ooh, think about watching whatever sport you like eating these oh my goodness Ooh, let's look at the inside one more time oh my god and they that frying in the background just oh my that's just mm, y'all they turned out phenomenal i'm telling you you should give these a try catering chef Private chefs, I've served these in restaurants to my clients. I've served these to my catering clients. I've served these to my family and friends. I am telling you, this is the ultimate game day food. Chicken flautas. Now, how do you want to serve those chicken flautas? That's on you. You can serve it with guacamole. You can serve it with salsa. You can think about a bean dip with it. Think about queso with these flautas. I've had them all sorts of ways, and you can serve it. And think about a platter. If you just have this on a platter for your family at home, that's all that matters. They love you. They care about you, and you show them that. So that means, guess what? You get to have it your way. You get to watch your sports team because you made this, and if they want some of this, then they will let you watch who you root for. That's what it's all about, y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. And be sure that you like and subscribe. Now, if there's something you want to see in the future, please just tell me. We can see can we work it in the playlist and enjoy whatever game that you watching, y'all. I'll catch y'all on the next side. All right? Y'all have a good one.